If you're not making chips, you're not making money. This machine makes money. Paul, we're here on the Starag Stander Emo 2023. I've, I've been around and seen all the uh, new technology in the machines. This really caught my eye, and I want to hear from you as to what it is and why the Starag Group are showing it and, and the concept and why they developed it. Okay, Paul, well, this is the business end of the, of the, uh, the famous Ecospeed machine. So, so this is the Z3 milling head. And what does Z3 mean? It, it means it's a parallel kinematic head that's driven by three linear axes that generate the traditional A and B axis of, 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 of a normal type machines, conventional type machines. I mean, when you see the Echo Speed in action, it's, and hopefully we can get some footage over the top of this video, um, they fly, don't they? Absolutely. But they're also very universal, which is what this head's demonstrated. It, does this achieve the same dynamicness as other constructions, or is it better, and if so, why? No, it's a better construction, and that's why we actually developed it. The, the, the problem with, with rotary heads and, and rotary axes is that they can't accelerate as fast as linear axes. So in front of this head, there will be a vertical pallet that's holding maybe uh, a 6 metre by 2 metre billet of aluminium. That whole assembly weighs about 20 tonnes, but we're going to be accelerating that at around 1G. A rotary axis can't keep up, up with that, particularly through um, uh, fairly complex shapes, etc. So the, the parallel kinematics of the head make it move very, very quickly indeed. Is it stiff and rigid though? Oh, it... very stiff and rigid, yes. I mean, this, this head has the cape, well, in, inside this head there's a 30,000 RPM, 120 kilowatt spindle. This will remove, in, in, in roughing mode, around 10 litres of aluminium from the billet per minute. So what that means in reality is, if you've got a, a normal size oil drum, you'll be filling that with aluminium chips once a minute. Wow. That works out to about a thousand chips a second. Okay, and because of the way it moves, often you're moving the head to the part rather than having to keep moving the part in some instances to the head, right, yes. which is an advantage, isn't it? It's flexibility. It is, yes, yeah. so, so this is effectively the whole uh, the whole assembly is the z-axis moving forward so if, if the head moves forward all three axes inside the head are all moving simultaneously when one axis moves more than the other two axes and it, it tilts ahead and that's how we get the a, a and b movement unique to starag group it is unique to say there have been other parallel kinematic type machines but without that this has probably been the most successful in the market and it continues to be successful. It, uh, it, it has the roughing capability and the speed of, of the whole machine to produce parts in a very, very cost-effective way. So a part, a six metre part, for example, six metre by two metre billet can go into this machine. It weighs four tonnes when it goes in. By the time we finish the part, like a wing rib or something like that, a very large wing rib, it weighs 127 kilos when it comes out. The rest of it is swarf on the floor. If you're not making chips, you're not making money. This machine makes money.